And when we talk of enlargement, we're not just talking of physical growth, financial growth, spiritual growth. The level of grace you've been functioning on for 10 years is still the same. The level of favor is still the same. Did the Bible not say grace and peace can be multiplied? Are you ready to pray that prayer of enlargement? That Father, I'm tired of being at this level for a long time. Enlarge me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Spiritually, this level of my prayer life, this level of my word study life, someone is praying, enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. Enlarge me in ministry. Enlarge me. Shapakato parakato shavrakates. Krasagata farasko sebelegos. Embrakato shavrandes kalebash. Krateke belegates sefraska tibalakos yata. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge coin on here. Enlarge coin on here. Enlarge my spiritual life. Enlarge every aspect of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabrakate pekatoska frateke parusiata. Kaprakate peleko sate fraskate peledusiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Don't be tired, you'll soon sit down. But listen, please look at me. What is the difference between a one room and a duplex? What is the difference? Space. Am I right on that? What is the difference between a great duplex and a mansion, as you call it? Space. What you can do in a one room, what you cannot do in a one room, you are able to do it in a duplex. Am I right on that? Now, just respectfully speaking, if you have one room, everything is there. The kitchen is there. The whatever is there. Are we together? Smallness has the characteristic effect of constraint. It does not give you the opportunity to be efficient. Are we together now? So imagine that you move from one room to a two bedroom. Now you can convert one maybe to be a library, one to be a guest room. Have you seen people now, respectfully speaking, have you seen for instance, say a couple, a husband and a wife, and maybe two children and all they have is one room you've seen what happens in the night the father is constrained maybe he even has to sleep on a chair for the wife and maybe the children and maybe the little baby you see that now did you not read in your bible that solomon was judging a case of two prostitutes where because of the constraint of space they slept on their visions and one killed they killed their children because of lack of space let me tell you, enlargement is a blessing. What 10,000 cannot do, 1 million can do. Are we together now? Yes. Oh, my man needs to be treated and the bill is 200,000. And that innocent woman is about to die because all you have is 10,000. But when God enlarges you, you have more space. You can even be a blessing. What this level of anointing can do, cannot do this level of anointing can do are we together now yes this level of anointing can only lead you to pastor 50 members not to insult but that is what it can do it cannot bring you a global ministry this way no no you cannot put the tire of a tricycle on a tractor or a, a bulldozer or a lorry can that work but they are all tires so when you bring that small tire, how many of you have seen spare tires of cars that look very small? Because you were not supposed to drive with it for a long time. It's only sufficient to take you to the mechanic. You see some of these giant cars and they come with enlarged tires. And sometimes when smaller cars are struggling because of the pothole, those cars can come and pass as if they are not even aware that's what enlargement does when you are limited when you are constrained five children you are living on 50,000 it's not a blessing oh let me tell you the truth not in our world today you are anointed you pray you have to pray for one week for headache to go you can't have a ministry that is flourishing that way 
I told you people don't follow men, they follow results. When you are a man that commands that result, it will look like they are following you. But what they really follow are results. It takes a level of dedication and loyalty and training by God for people to look beyond results and now start following men. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my... I've prayed this prayer many times. This ministry did not start like this. And this ministry will not remain like this because that grace for enlargement is there. So why is it that your life is remaining that way? One more time, I want you to refuse. Look at every area of your life that has refused to grow and declare, let that anointing for enlargement rest upon it. Open your mouth and pray one last time. Father, enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. Enlarge me by the spirit of the living God for the sake of your glory for the excellency of your name please pray hallelujah number three let your hand be with me hallelujah let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. You are going to pray. This is what is responsible for advancement. This is what is responsible for speed. When the hand of the Lord comes upon men, they refuse to stay, not just at that level, but even in that location. It is God that moves men. When you find stagnancy, what you need is the hand of God. The hand of God moves men. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses to advance. Say Father. One more time. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. By your hand. Advance me. By your hand. Advance my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By your hand. By your hand, by your hand, advance me in ministry. By your hand, advance me in every area of life. Someone is praying. Advance me, advance me by your spirit. Hallelujah. 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 And with the last prayer point, it will now lead me to begin to minister as fast as we can. Fire is going to begin to fall in this place now. Give us the last prayer point. Keep me from evil. Listen. The psalmist said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Is that true? Verse 2 says, Give us verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feather, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be, and thy buckler. Verse 5. It says, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Verse 6, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. 7, a thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand by thy right side, but it shall not come nigh thee. Last verse, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Listen, do you know what it means for God to keep you? To keep you means, Lord, I will not die before my time. Hallelujah. 
I was listening to a video this morning by late Archbishop Benson Idahosa and he was teaching somewhere in the States and he was just sharing how that when God gave him an instruction in Benin then and he went and he was praying and praying and God gave him an instruction for seven days to go out every night at the roundabout alone and begin to pray and declare and say Benin belongs to Jesus and he said he prayed it the spirit of fear came what if you would die he said in one of the days when you got there he saw parts of animals that were caught and on them his name was written there can I tell you saying I do not trouble anybody nobody would trouble me is a joke all it takes to be a victim of evil is to be born the moment you find yourself here you have to understand the warfare dimension of life are we together now I'm saying this because many of you do not know you're a man of God here I want you to listen daily daily there are demons and spirits it's only when we go to heaven that I will know how many shrines how many pots how many sacrifices carry my name daily but they will continue to boil it as dinner lunch supper it, it will have no effect not because listen not because we are powerful on our own we have found from scripture that there is immunity in that name that there is immunity in that blood are you ready to pray now say father, father by the blood of jesus the blood of the eternal covenant every covenant me, tying me to failure, to, failure, to, death, to death, to weakness, to, weakness, to, defeat, to defeat, right now, right now by, the blood, by the blood, let it be broken. Yes. Open your mouth and pray. Every covenant, every covenant, tying me to death, witchcraft, Defeat, yokes, ordinances. Shepakato safra teke perekos yata. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. Every covenant that says people will not rise that says people will not shine hallelujah hallelujah oh be lifted above all other God we lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown. Halabarado. very sensitive listen there was a time in my life I have met angels I have encountered demon spirits by the privilege of God's grace I have encountered Jesus the living Christ the realm of the spirit is not an unfamiliar path I know a bit about how spiritual things work but first time I would encounter a demon spirit 
I was praying in the night somewhere in Zaria and there was a generator close to that place and I was praying and going close to that place and the next thing I moved here and there is a solid being standing this is not vision and the only thing he said was get back and when he said that I looked and I spontaneously I just blasted in tongues and like you are seeing this and you don't see it again and I said what is this the next time I would have this I was praying I think I was in a period of fasting and praying also and then my room the ceiling just disappeared and then I'm seeing this giant creature it looks like a dinosaur very mighty the eyes will be like this the size of one man's head you can imagine my head being the eye so imagine how the head will be and it had a long tail but that tail had its own life that means you could detach the tail from the being and it will still be alive red eyes and it was looking at me and it says so you think you will how did what i can't even remember what so you think you will bring god's people into abundance I remember and I said ah so this is the spirit that sits upon men's destinies they don't know they think it's joblessness they think it's just family conflict they don't know that these are wicked spirits by reason of the apostolic and the prophetic call I have been exposed to visions I have encountered spirits some of the songs that you hear us sing I didn't write them these were songs that I heard from the realm of the spirit and I brought it down and wrote it. So when you see me minister to people, I'm not ministering from a standpoint of ignorance. There are real spirits sitting on the destinies of men and they may not know, ladies and gentlemen, whoever told the woman who was bound for 18 years that there was an actual spirit holding her like that this woman kept going hoping that things would change if spirits can bind men can they bind businesses if spirits can they bind destinies and jesus looks at the woman and says woman thou art loose from your infirmity she did not even know what happened suddenly a spirit that has been comfortable for 18 years that woman would have remained like that some of you have had some conditions around your life um it's like that i just feel dizzy sometimes i grew up like that you are like that woman that has been bound but jesus came and he said no matter how long it has been the longest condition we know that a man has been in in the bible was 38 years we don't know how long it took job the bible does not record time but at least we know that the longest recorded time where a man stayed in his tragedy was 38 years then there was 12 years but when jesus came and said woman thou art loosed from your infirmity and then he laid hands and took that woman up and when the other people started talking stupid talk he said ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham whom satan has bound lo all these years that means in satan's economy time does not matter don't say after 10 years i will be free you will never be free because of the passage of time you will be free by the forceful manifestation of the power the name and the blood so listen i'm saying that so that as i begin to minister now will be very fast that every condition you know long-standing conditions don't tolerate it and say it's been there this bad luck has followed me since i was five years now i'm 50 years it's like that anytime people want to do things make sure it gives way this night the man was sitting at bethesda john 5 the bible says something happened there that every time an angel will come and stir the waters but the man had no one to help him and then Jesus comes to him. The Bible says he was there for 38 years. Calls him an impotent man. Did his father not give him a name? What was his name? There are many of you, your condition has swallowed your name. 
that people only identify that guy, that family that has bad luck, as if they don't have a name. That woman whose children are all miserable, that one who's that that church that does not grow, the impotent man. And Jesus said, No, this is not how it works. You notice all these sick people. The Bible did not seem to care about their names because there's something about demonic oppression. It, it does not just ruin your life, it ruins your name. Notice the woman with the issue of blood, no name. The man at blind Bartimaeus, no name. The man at the pool, no name. Because every time the devil attacks, among the many things he's looking for is your name. Your honor is in your name. Your reputation is in your name. I'm saying this because I want to minister to people whose names have been diminishing. You may not have something wrong with your life, but your condition has swallowed up your name. Honor that God has given your family is about going down because it does not look, it looks like there are conditions that have stained your name. Hallelujah. Every time you see kings rise, the Bible will always call their name, even if they were given other names. But when you find people plagued with conditions, you hardly hear their names. The woman with the issue of blood, the man born blind, the man at the pool, blind Bartimaeus, the man who was sitting at gate, beautiful. Look at that. Oppression among the many things it seeks to take away from you is your name because you see part of the blessing that God gave Abraham in Genesis 12 is a great name I will bless you and I will make your name great if you are great alone your children cannot be great because there's nothing for them to inherit when you go you go with your greatness but when your name is great anybody who comes under that name can continue being great Today we mention names when you talk about names of you know American presidents great people today they are long gone you see but their names so when Satan wants to destroy you he does something to your name are you ready to pray So when you see me minister deliverance, it's not just about people shouting and coming out and rolling under the anointing. No, 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 no. Deliverance has nothing to do with shouting and rolling. It's about taking authority. Are we together now? That which is, is fighting all of these things, as I mentioned in your life, they clear out of the way, fighting your ministry, your health, your life, and all of a sudden you will find out that after deliverance, the Bible says there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Deliverance happens upon Mount Zion. That is a proper place for deliverance. I'm, I'm ready to pray now. You will not do anything yet just just listen to me you see the thing with the anointing is that you have to wait on God you don't assume this is what the Lord is speaking to my ears and he's telling me now that as in this silence that the Spirit of God there are people and destinies that he wants to uproot things and the moment that happens the power of God is going to start moving please I want you to bring those people here you will not need to shout I'm the one who will just make a statement and uprooting I'm seeing like a weed you know how a farmer is removing weed this is what I'm saying father you have spoken and in the name of Jesus I declare that everyone under the sound of my voice please when you just bring those people out ushers or all those who need to help, help them let's make it very fast so that we'll finish on time in the name of Jesus Christ everyone who has had a planting in their life or their family that needs to be uprooted my God I'm seeing fire in this place in the name of Jesus right now let it be uprooted bring them out Ali Shabaraso Sabasa Hela Tobash whether you are an usher or not, please help them. If anyone is under the anointing close to you, just bring them out so that we'll save time. Bring them out. This is an instruction that the Holy Ghost gave. You will never stand, I'm telling you. If, if, there, is, if there is something to be uprooted, 
there is an energy a, a force from heaven please bring them men and women my Bible says every tree that has not been planted by God that tree will be uprooted that's what God is doing right now uprooting by the Spirit of God uprooting by the Spirit of God you will marvel at the testimonies that follow uprooting things look at the wonder-working power of Jesus my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Now, something mysterious is going to happen here now. There are people, watch this. I just saw fire through the congregation. Please help them. There are people who will start running. This is not speed. This is, this is a deliverance. But they will start running. Hold them and bring them to the front. This is not speed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the ministry of fire, that everyone under any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ by this sign that God has given may the Lord himself begin to bring them out now bring them out now please help the ushers Oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me talk to those outside. Not the other overflows, just outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I want to pray for you. The Lord is showing me something. I want to pray for those outside right now. Lift your hands. At the count of three, those outside, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name Jesus, the hand of the Lord is going to come on a few people and there will be massive deliverance. Just the overflow outside. As I count three, I want you to shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I want you to carry those outside and bring them to the front by the spirit of the living God. God is doing a very marvelous work in their lives. Now, let me pray for everyone. Anyone here under the plague of witchcraft? Yokes of ancestry. You are about to shout the name Jesus. My God, I'm seeing fire falling already. Yokes of ancestry at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus be released now be released now be released now be released now business is under siege families under siege destiny is under siege bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Embracatos koto prekete, embratas kote barakash, krate sekete skota, rekete brante ke barus kete basia. Bring them out. Hallelujah. The Lord wants me to speak to the men. There are spirits that have tied men in many families so that they will not rise. It's like the men become the women and the women are the men. They have to depend on the women to feed. I'm seeing at least eight people with this case. Right now the fire of God is coming on all those men. Inside, outside, everywhere. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Every man be delivered now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar tying down men, tying down destinies. Give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name victory. 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 We don't have all the time. Um, my, my intention is for us to finish on time. So I'm not going to be doing too much of um, But I'm hearing the name victory. Wherever that person, who is victory? Your name is victory. I want to pray for you. God has remembered your family. I release grace upon you now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, God has remembered your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Abdullahi? I'm hearing a name. This, this is, I don't know if it's your name, your son name, but I'm hearing the name Abdullahi. Abdullahi, you would think that this is supposed to be another name. Abdullahi. I just heard that name. I don't know where that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the mantle that has been looking for you, that is searching for your head, in Jesus' name, let it rest on you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rachel, I'm hearing the name Rachel. Please make sure you are organized. Don't, don't, don't cause confusion. Once, if I call you, if it's not your name, you can stand anywhere there. I, I'm going to pray for those in front. Rachel, who is Rachel? There is a family that God is delivering. Somebody is going to shout right now. Um, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a spirit because I'm seeing that this week that is coming, I'm seeing written obituary and there is a family. I'm not a prophet of doom. God sends, redeems. There is somebody right now, that spirit, in the name of Jesus. I know you by name and I declare, let that family go now. 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 The family of Rachel, let that family go now. Let that family go now. Your father is a police officer. Your father is a police officer. Where is he? Where? Huh? Are you from the east? Yes, sir. Enugu? Yes, sir. Where is he? It's in Enugu. This is what God is revealing to me. Listen to me. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm going to pray for you. Because I'm seeing something happening, and they are going to fight some people, you know, people like are fighting, and I'm seeing something that is not good. But in the name, I don't know you, oh my, my friend. And I'm not, you believe what I'm telling you? Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, you reveal to redeem. We, we are standing here, but in the name of Jesus, we pray that anything that wants to destroy, and I use him as a point of contact, because what God says to one, he says to all. Anyone here, you have your loved ones, either in the police, 
DSS, military, air force, I declare supernatural preservation. Supernatural preservation. They shall not die. They shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, may the Lord preserve your father in the name of Jesus. This lady kneeling down, lifting her hands. I'm seeing you wearing a police cap. Stand up. Who is it you or who? Is there anybody around your life? I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that will bring you to have any kind of demonic trouble. That you need to go to the police station. Right now. I'm seeing fire from your feet to your head. I command it to give way now. Because I'm seeing a police cap on her head. And I'm wondering what this is for. There's someone in the worship team. I just saw light. I don't know who that person is. The fire of God. The Lord is saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. This, this mystery of evil that has sat on your family is coming to an end. We declare it an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a mother here. One of your prayer requests is for your daughter who has not given birth. Now, I'm not saying if you are trusting God, this is a mother who came and she's trusting for her daughter. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, you have come, you have stood in for your daughter by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let your daughter return with her children rejoicing. Now, all those in front here, I want to rebuke these wicked spirits by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every legal access Satan has over your life, I declare it is broken now. And Satan, I declare as one sent by God, release your destinies now. Out of them now, in the name of Jesus, out of their destinies, out of their lives, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing someone. You have a very interesting condition. You can snore from like if you are lying down there. Somebody who is a long distance from your place can hear you snore. Many people have told you this thing. And you felt very, I, I don't know why God is showing me this. But it's a condition that God wants me to pray for you for. So that one day you don't lie down and then don't, don't just wake up. This is a serious medical condition. Is there someone like that? The Lord is ministering that to me. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I want to pray for that person. And then, number two, very quickly. Madam, thank you for your honesty. Thank you. Let's celebrate her. Takes a lot of courage. Please stand up, madam. I want to pray for you. The devil is a liar. How long has this been? It's a long time. Very long time. Yes, sir. My friend, I want to pray for you. I don't know if there's a medical condition for it. I'm, I presume there might be. But my job is to do everything God has asked me to do. So I'm going to pray for you. The devil is a liar. That satanic thing must lead. Listen, to the silliest of things, huh? when you see God bring a word like this, is because someone's life depends on it. And for all of you who are here, thank you for This is a family of faith, you see. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Father, just, can you just make contact with your, your neck just as a point of contact? Father, you reveal to redeem. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands now. Let that demonic thing go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it leave never to return again. Something is leaving this guy, this guy on white. I'm seeing something like a rope on your neck. Out of him now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you life, I bring you healing. That choking feeling is not an ordinary snore, like you are just snoring because you did not bend well. This is a satanic thing, and you don't pray for them, they will go to bed one night, and that's how it will be over for them. But thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. In the name of Jesus, let it be over now. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Now, I don't want you to feel embarrassed. There are two cases that I want to pray for and then I pray for healing. The Lord is ministering this to me and I don't want you to feel bad. 
there are people um if if you are to come out here you have just two minutes to come out very quickly any and all kinds of satanic addictions addictions that want to kill you any kind of addiction whatsoever that has overwhelmed you and God has been speaking to you and you are saying apostle I want to break free from this I want to give you two minutes come and stand before the Lord right now while they are doing that let's begin to pray don't sit back there when you know that God wants to bring you victory once and for all drunkenness pornography masturbation every kind of addiction some of you maybe on some things that you take to be high addiction even stealing can be an addiction there are people who steal things they should not steal biro paper because of that you go to the police station it's not worth it so it's a spirit come once the space is full just stand where you are in fact you can stand there for now you can you can imagine this if this is all that we do today it was worth it great is your mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender i see day after day teach you a principle look up everything god gave man god gave man control over the moment you cannot control it again a spirit has hijacked it are we together now now we're asking these our precious people to come and stand we're not listen i don't want you to feel ashamed for whatever reason no you are standing before jesus this is the house of god addiction has nothing to do with whether you are good or bad some of the people standing here are some of the nicest people you can imagine. I have prayed for people who will steal anything. Even when you are holding hands praying, they will still carry something. It's a spirit. There are responsible people who are held bound. Some of these addictions you see have been transferred. And, and, and let me tell you this. God must raise people with this anointing and send them to the police force, the correctional centers, because there are people, no matter how long they stay there, what will really set them free is the power of God. So I celebrate all of you for summoning the courage to come. That's what Jabez did. He had to open up himself and say, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, you've been stealing, you've been stealing, you've been this and that. This is a lady that I'm seeing. There is nothing you cannot steal. And you know, I've told you, this thing works like word of knowledge. You can hide your money under the carpet. They will stand and look, look, and just go under the carpet and pick it. Parents, hear me. Some of this supposed stubbornness of children is not like, it's a, it's a demon. Do you know that there are spirits that make children stubborn? The moment you say go left, that spirit will not let them rest till they go right. I want to pray for you. This is my work. Oh. That demon, that satanic devil must leave you now. Our time is gone, but I'm going to pray for you. Father, these ones have come before you, the God of mercy and the God of all grace. Many of them have been tied down by all kinds of things. But the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All kinds of addictions right now. Satan, I speak to every spirit that has been assigned to hold you down. Some of them are spirits of inheritance. Some of them all kinds of diabolic things. At the count of three, I declare you must let them go now.
Now at the count of three, I'm going to release the power of God on you and that devil will live and live forever. Satan, take your hands of God's people at the count of three. One, two, three, out of your lives now. Be free, be free, be free, be free. I break the power of addiction. I break the power of addiction. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of their lives now. Make sure you are praying for them, those who are in the congregation. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Listen, many of you will come and stand here and testify. And you will say, finally, God has given you freedom once and for all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, lay your hands, everyone who is trusting God for a healing miracle. Very quickly, I want you to lay your hands. Lay your hands there. And let's, let's clear the way for those who are returning back. So that they return back very quickly. You are more than what people say. You are more than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what people say. Jehovah, you are good. Lay your hands and believe Jesus for a miracle right now. Please don't go back the way you came. Place your hand there. I want to pray for you. You've heard the testimonies of people by the power of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of satanic things. I'm about to pray for you right now. I'm seeing a lady who is coughing out something in a vision. I mean, just like somebody just coughing. I don't know what that is, but in the name of Jesus, already I pray for that person, that satanic planting in your body. Right now, I declare that it comes out now. Please lay your hands. I want to pray for you. You are good. You are kind. You are more than what people see. Father, you have granted us the grace to see the sick healed. Some of you are lifting up the pictures, lifting up your phones. I see people who are connecting. There are many, many, many hospitals. Did you know it's so humbling to know the amount of clinics, hospitals that connect to the miracle services and the tremendous testimonies that have come out. And for those of you who are connecting right now in any hospital, you are connecting for a patient, probably a patient that is already dying, cancer, any demonic thing. Some of you are standing in for your loved ones. You may not have the time to take testimonies tonight, but in the name of Jesus, I want you to believe. He gave us this anointing and it's to be an extension of his healing power to the nations. As I pray, I want you to believe by faith. And shout a loud believing amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a breast lump. Right now. The power of God is touching a lady. I'm seeing a healing. Help her please. The Lord is healing a breast lump. That devil is living right now in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing an eye condition I'm seeing the power of God touch someone your eyes be healed now I'm seeing someone you are not able you are not able to go to the toilet easily I don't know what medical condition that is. This has affected you right now. You even need to go and see a doctor. This is not just pile. It's, it's like you're not able to stool properly and it's a very demonic situation. Whether you are here or following online, let the healing power of Jesus touch you right now. 
there's someone you have what we call nose bleeding you can stand in the sun and blood just begins to come out of your nose in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is but the power of God is touching you now yeah. hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing someone with a very you are a man you go to ease yourself and you're easing out blood this is what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus Christ by the mercy of God may the power of God touch you now every eye condition be healed now every deaf ear in the name of Jesus I declare that you are open this moment in the name of Jesus Christ everyone suffering from any bone condition I decree and declare by the power of the Lord Jesus let your limbs find strength now let your limbs find strength now there's someone you slept on this side the left side of your your shoulder and you've been having excruciating pain the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me two people your molars if I don't pray for you they will have to extract it because I'm seeing holes already and it's bringing you severe pain around your mouth but by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be a miracle for you now I need to pray for someone I'm seeing a family mourning and I'm seeing someone just passing to glory and this is as a result of cancer father in the name of Jesus Christ because you have revealed this by your mercy and by your grace avert death over this family avert death over this family let me pray for everyone here and those connecting online that has any trace of cancer by this unction in the name of Jesus let cancer die let cancer die let cancer die let cancer die the Lord is showing me someone you have a condition I think I need to go and read this medical book so that I know the name of these things you have a condition where your blood cells are fighting themselves this is what I'm seeing fighting themselves like a condition where your body fights itself not like there's necessarily an external some it fights itself I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus that tragedy comes to an end now there's someone you are not overweight yet you lose energy the, you can't climb the stair and just the moment you do any work that seems to exhaust you a bit you start breathing there's something wrong with your heart you are not even aware because from what I'm seeing oxygen is not pumping to your body very well and this is deteriorating it's like you have a weak heart in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is may my God give you a brand new heart now every kidney condition be healed now every liver problem be healed now digestive problems be healed now and hear me anyone under the sound of my voice who has not been able to carry their baby in the name of Jesus Christ I don't care what is wrong with your body let it be cleansed and perfected now cleansed and perfected now cleansed and perfected now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone something happened to your voice right now you speak you just have to hush you can't speak very loud and clear and you know it looks like you have to hush that's the only way to speak I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus let the healing power of Jesus touch you now in the name of Jesus there is a lady God is showing me um, you have a medical condition that will not allow you give birth 
and the doctor has discussed it with you there is a name he has given you the lord is saying i should pray for you and release you from this in the name of jesus whoever that person is be released now Amen. hallelujah someone is beginning to have a swollen foot you do not even know but your legs are beginning to swell I'm not a doctor, but I'm hearing in my spirit that this is a problem with your liver. I have to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed now. In fact, God is, God is healing a woman I'm seeing a woman with excruciating pain around her back here. In Jesus' name, the power of God is touching you now. The power of God is touching you now. Now, there's someone, you are not on this ground, but I need to pray for you. Someone went to give you an injection. And I don't know if, it, maybe it's like they made a mistake. This is two weeks now. You have been limping. You have been limping if i don't pray for you i'm seeing that that condition is going to remain like that because something has been touched that should not have been touched but by the message of god i decree and declare that god who is the creator of the ends of the earth may he bring perfection to your body in the name of jesus koinonia be healed those following online be healed all the overflows be healed all the hospitals following be healed in the name of Jesus neck problems be healed blood problems be healed organ problems be healed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now here's what I would want you to do we honestly may not have the time Miracle services require extended periods and we're constrained by time. Everybody be praying in the spirit now while you submit your prayer request. Please pray in the spirit and begin to submit your prayer request. Here's the time where everyone submits their prayer request. If you're yet to write, we'll give you a minute or two very quickly. Ushers, please move around and let's, let's be organized at this. What I want you to do is you can pass it to the last person by your left or your right. To ease um, the the collection very quickly if you're writing write very quickly those of you who are online here is an opportunity to receive a mighty visitation you've heard of the things that God is doing is an instruction that God gave me and we've kept this for many years and the wonder working power of God out of this request are you praying in the spirit someone begin to pray thank you Jesus Shalika Parosa Severende Kesebelekosia. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't keep down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow you won't light up, no shadow you won't light up. Mountain you will climb up, coming out to me. No wall you will keep down. No wall you will keep down. Cloud you won't tear down. Coming out to me. No shadow you will light up. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up, coming out to me. No wall you will keep down. No That's what the Lord is able to do. The Bible says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it come into the heart of man that which God has in store for them that love him, but that he's revealed it to us even by his spirit. Bring the prayer requests and very quickly, I want you to keep praying in the spirit of your, your praying. Maintain that atmosphere very quickly. Let's pray and decree and declare even over this request. I love praying on the request. Listen, 
I love praying on the request because it is the most accurate communication of your desires. When we prophesy, we prophesy in part and then we are constrained by time. When we minister, we minister only according to the measure of grace that is given. But then when we are praying for this, this is you like Jabez, lifting up your prayer. My assignment is to stand in faith with you. We are doing the prayer together. So I'd like you to begin to pray. You are declaring already that these Egyptians I see today. Ushers, please bring it very quickly. Those outside, those inside, let's hurry up with the requests so that we can cry before the God of heaven, the one who turned the life of Jabez. Give us that scripture on Jabez again. First Chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Not because he was better than his brethren. It was because he was the only one who cried unto God. Verse 10. Jabez prayed, call it upon the name of the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. The Bible says, and the Lord granted him that which he requested. Are we together now? The Lord granted him that which he requested. Philippians 4 and verse 6, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, it says, let your request be made known unto God. Let your request be made known unto God. Mark eleven twenty four. Jesus was speaking and he says therefore I say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receivest them and thou shalt have them the Bible says ye have not because ye ask not if you can pray and ask God he's more than willing to answer and this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything in accordance to his will the Bible declares that he heareth us hallelujah so we're praying that the God of heaven will visit us I know that you have prayed and you pray every miracle service but give this a very different attitude I want you to believe God will not look down on this many prayer requests representing the cries the tears of his people he told Moses he said I have heard the cry of my people by reason of their taskmasters he says and I am come down God comes down by sending men rise up on your feet please stretch your hands towards this request and I'd like you to begin to pray passionately by faith that these Egyptians I see today is someone praying from the depth of your heart from the depth of your heart shapra sobaka soprende geberekus e prata shalaka toska prende geberekus Give your people testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let no request here return unanswered in the name of Jesus Christ. Let no request here return unanswered. Let no request here return unanswered in the name of Jesus Christ.
I want you to agree with me as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost and this grace that God has so lavishly given that in the mighty name of Jesus, this request are hereby turned to testimonies. This request are hereby turned to testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those agreeing for salvation, God will surprise you. Those trusting God for jobs, receive your miracle jobs. Miracle marriages. Miracle children. Breakthroughs on every side. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone's application. You've applied for visa five times and you have been denied. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, go back again. And the Lord is granting you victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have written here, in the name of Jesus, including the financial situation you are in debt, my God will roll it up from your neck. I stand upon this prayer request prophetically and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus everything that has risen upon you that has become a yoke to your neck we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet in the name of Jesus Christ now let me speak over your life Prophetic blessings are very powerful. We're not wrapping up the service. It's part of the service. Why do we speak? Because one of the ways you speak the blessing, when God ordained from Jesus himself, he blessed by saying, priesthood releases people by saying, are we together? May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family your children their children their children his friends will be for you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he's with you he's with you in the morning and you go and you're weeping and rejoicing in for you Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus we're wrapping up May June is the last of the first half of the year and there are things that some of you are yet to see in your life in the name of Jesus I call upon the God who has sent us by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I know that there are still a few days to the end of May. My God will surprise you. My God will surprise you. Some of you, hear me. Some of you literally by this time tomorrow, I stand by Apakatoske. Help that gentleman. By this time tomorrow, may my God surprise you. Number two, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for direction. Some of you are confused. That is the reason why you are stagnated. When direction comes, speed comes to. In the name of Jesus, in your dreams, in your visions, may God give you clear directions. Clear directions for the next clear directions for the next season in the name of Jesus Christ there are some of you the reason why things are not going well is simply because you have not joined the right chariot he told Philip join this chariot hallelujah and he joined that chariot and he became the salvation of the utopian Enoch. I want to pray for you. 
in the name of Jesus, every strategic relationship that must be introduced to your life for your rising, for your making, between now and the end of June, may my God bring strategic people to your life. Ministry relationships, business relationships, destiny relationships, covenant relationships, receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me? There are many of you, the situation you are in now, you cannot advocate your liberty. It will take somebody who is already in the palace. You are Joseph. You have the ability to interpret dreams, potential to be a prime minister, but you don't have a chance to defend yourself in front of Pharaoh. But there is a wine presser somewhere. I don't know who is already where in a place where they can speak for you and they are not speaking for you because they have forgotten you. I place you in their mind by the spirit of the living God. I place you in their mind. May God cause them to speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of fear. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. It says to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. There are many of you, you are not sick, but the fear that is on you, you get up in the morning, will an accident happen? You just feel something small in your body and the devil says death. It is the voice of the enemy. I want to silence it right now. Every voice that is planting fear in Jesus' name, that voice is hereby silence forever. Silence forever. Silence forever. I prophesy over you. You shall not die. No untimely death in the name of Jesus. Please hear me. Anybody that is plotting evil against you, whether kidnap or accident or sickness, in the name of Jesus, let the earth open and swallow them. Let the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any charm, any coven, any satanic place in the name of Jesus that carries anything that belongs to you. I declare that the power fails instantly. Let me pray for someone who is trusting God for a job. In the name of Jesus, may Ebenezer, the helper of men, surprise you. In the name of Jesus every ministry here every business that is dead or dying everything in your hand that is dying you are holding something that is dying i give it life now let it come back to life now your business comes back to life your body comes back to life your ministry comes back to life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah Whatever has taken the glory of the Lord upon your life. For Samson, it was Delilah that took that glory from him. For Gideon, something happened and he, the least person, the least in his father's house, all those idolatry brought them to a place of subjugation. Whatever has taken the glory of God upon your life. You used to be great. You used to be anointed. You used to be favored. Something happened and you just started drying up like a tree. In the name of Jesus, may the restorer restore you tonight. I say it again. May the restorer restore you tonight. May the restorer restore you tonight. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Any door that was once opened for good, and whether by mistakes on your part, by not understanding the laws that keep doors open or by some demonic thing that door closed whether doors of favor doors of relationship doors into the heart of great men i stand and call upon he that has the key of david the one that opened it and no man shut it and shut it and no man opened it i speak to that door a fata be open be open 
be open the door to the hearts of kings be open the door to your destiny help us heart be open in the name of Jesus Christ I've taught you that who hates you does not matter but truly who likes you matters are we together let me pray for you you are not stagnated but you are not making constructive progress it will take you one year to do something that can be done in two months that is not the will of God I want to declare acceleration for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead some of you between now and the next two months you will do things you have not done in five years I prophesy you will do things you have not done in five years in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm hearing the Lord is saying something to me I must obey him the Lord is saying there are families where there are covenants that you and your children will never marry or enjoy marriage or marry and go back to your parents homes the Lord is saying I should speak over you I stand by the privilege of priesthood every family that the doors of marriage has been closed let it be open now 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 and in the name of Jesus for every marriage right now that is epileptic it looks as if it is crashing the devil is joining the head of husband and wife and causing trouble I declare peace to that storm peace to that storm the wisdom to live in peace let it be released upon you in the name of Jesus Koinonia hear me in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare when men say there is a casting down for you let it be that there is a lifting up whether you are in Abuja you are in Lagos you are in Kano whether you are in Nigeria you are in UK you are in US regardless the location from tonight may the blessing speak on you may the blessing speak on you with that blessing let there be favor with that blessing let there be speed with that blessing let there be restoration with that blessing let there be restoration I say it again with that blessing let there be restoration in the name of Jesus change things the Bible says Jabez cried unto the Lord when you become passive you become very very sorry for want of word become very um, very organized there is there is a desperation that you must carry the desperation of Hannah the desperation of Gideon the desperation of Jabez have you seen a woman going to give birth and she's interested in her makeup that just when the child is about to come and says sorry I, I I just need to make sure that you know this one is in place can I have a last look at myself huh have you seen that happen There is a desperation. The woman with the issue of blood said, this is not the issue of shame. I'm tired of this nonsense. I will cry it. I will touch the head of his garment. Let me be punished later, but for now. There are some of you who are not yet angry enough. Sincerely, I'm telling you. You are still organized. You're saying, well, the poverty situation is not so bad. At least we can borrow money. Now you are owing more than 10 million. It started from... 10,000 naira and the devil is an expert in growing it before you know it you see that your whole destiny has been given to the company you are going is that not what happened to the wife of the sons of the prophet remember you think that she started by they were going to take her children as collateral your children there does not just represent your physical child whatever it is that can make for continuity of your destiny satan can use things around your life and force you to carry your future and pay for today with it i'm 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 planting a holy anger in you so that when it's time to pray and it's time to receive you would do what jabez did tonight is not just to shout amen my job is to release grace with you and stand in faith with you but you have a responsibility for god's sake to pray in holy anger give us that scripture verse 10 the bible says and god and
and God granted him that which he requested God granted him not that which he has been admiring in others not that which he, he wants passively I know it was just between me and God <clears throat> blind Bartimeo said thou son of David I don't care who else is hearing it have mercy on me and the people said keep quiet you are the one who knows the heart you are the one who knows what lack of employment has done to you you are the one who you you know it's always it's often said that the person wearing the shoes is the one who knows where it is hurting so when it's time to pray don't just stand and be organized and say well i i know i, I don't want people to see me let camera not pass me you have to deal with certain things once and for all this spirit of death that i'm always seeing in my dreams tonight is the time to deal with it i i, I reject untimely death but just say no it will not come it, that is a joke you are going to have to place aggression this door that opens for others but just when it gets to me that door closes somebody was supposed to sign something on your table and just because he turned to discuss a wind just pushed all the files and they can't find it again and that becomes fine what kind of satanic thing is that and you are here keeping quiet and he said it does not matter he will find it one day the same wind that pushed it must push it back was it not the east wind that blew that abba Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm planting a holy anger in you. Father, you gave me five children. The devil is already taking two. I assure you, Satan's plan is not to take two. It's to take all. He took one and you kept quiet. The Bible says in the early church, watch this, the book of Acts. When Satan took James and the church kept quiet, they didn't do anything about it. He said, ah, the Bible says he proceeded further and he now took Peter and the church said no more. The Bible says the church gathered together and began to pray. The same angels that rescued Peter were still there when James was dying. But because there was silence and they did not pray. The same angels that would deliver your family today, they've always been there. It's just that you've not given it the kind of aggression. hallelujah listen let me tell you something someone once asked me a question i said apostle what does it take to build a global ministry like this and i looked at him with compassion i said which part of the answer now am i going to give this person one of it is a testimony in the spirit that you have mastered the art of keeping evil forces at bay when physical victory manifests is because that victory has been established in the spirit please hear me it is not when your job manifests that god answered you <clears throat> when you deal with it in the realm of the spirit and it's finished you will find out that you can wake up in the morning that's why you see people come for service and sometimes they are ministered to there are a few people who may walk back maybe they, their healing has started and they did not feel anything you know and they may feel disappointed you hear them testify that they went home and slept and woke up because once it is done in the realm of the spirit that is it goliath died in the realm of the spirit david killed goliath before he met him there and he said mr man you are standing just as a mass of interruption i'm going to bring you down even with a stone so when we are going to pray now please i want you to pray with seriousness there are things that you wrote there are sicknesses in your body can i tell you we are in the days where headache can become cancer thanks to demons you will feel a little headache something that you will just say ah, it's paining me the next time the pain goes to this side then it goes to another place unconnected i'm not a doctor but you will know this is a demon spirit you hear people telling you there's something roaming around my body have you heard people say that it starts from my head you know how hard it is to move around your body even god had to put veins and arteries and here is a demon spirit walking around freely until you stop it by the power of the holy ghost how about businesses that are going down 
from January your business has been going down and you've just been watching it thank God for principles listen we are people of principles and we're intelligent people but we are people who place superior honor to the realm of the spirit the physical realm is a child a slave helpless slave to the realm of the spirit if you do not deal with things spiritually whatever effort you are making physically is a total waste of time I assure you if you're a ministry here as a man of God it is not just by invitation poster social media those are physical things and they are profitable the real victories in the realm of the spirit apostle why is it that people do not like me I'm a sincere person every time someone wants to help me they seem to forget you think they make themselves forget there are wicked spirits what do you think made the wine presser to forget Joseph and added two more years one man's forgetfulness added another man's pain hallelujah how about someone who just received some money that should bless the family and wipe their tears and all of a sudden three people went down somebody needs a surgery five million another person needs a surgery eight million another person has a mysterious sickness that we must fly the person to uk to check you calculate everything is the exact same money you collected someone just wants to help you and the devil will masquerade and use certain faces in the dream to now come and appear as an angel of light and say don't help this person that person is carrying a familiar spirit and your destiny helper gets up in the morning in fear because the devil use your face or use something else to money and you find out that uh, let me tell you africa especially is a place where people respect the realm of the spirit someone can be a very intelligent person he goes to bed and the devil just uses your face you come with a knife in the dream supposedly to kill the person the person stands up and says, oh, so this is my enemy. You go to the office the next day. Good afternoon, sir. You are leaving this job now. What did I do? Right. High pressure sense. God bless you. This is Reflector Hub TV. And it's our mandate that we proclaim Jesus, the crucified, the resurrected Lord of all over the nations. And on this space, we bring you glad tidings that your soul be refreshed, that your soul be enlightened, that your soul be transformed. And because Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, everything about your life has an ending point. He is the beginning and the end. So be rest assured that whatsoever you're passing through, as spoken and as declared, as you've been prayed for by God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. On this platform just believe it that everything God has spoken about your life will definitely come to an end everything you're passing through that seems not to give glory to Jesus God is putting an end to it so be rest assured and believe that he is doing wonders in your life God bless you stay tuned and do ensure you get this message across to your friends family and neighbors ensure they to get blessed by sharing this video and in case you are a new viewer would like you to hit the subscribe button ensure you subscribe to this channel and stay in touch with us by hitting the notification bell god bless you we love you so much